friends. Today we are reviewing a Kiriko, a distant into tinker crate. Today's activity is make your own wooden ottoman, create a hand crank ottoman, and explore machines that move. You're just not in perfect for me because I am not. All right, I better open this crate. So in this Kiriko, like all other Kirikos, I am not going to be saying step one is this, let's put this together and this and that. I'm gonna be just doing it and then boom, I'm just gonna get the there and you'll see me at the end when I'm gonna be testing it out. So here is my ottoman. So to make this work, you have three balls, three wooden balls. First, put one on the platform and it will slide to this part. You go up, you turn the crank and wait and wait until it's there on that stair. Then you can put another one here and it goes up. Oopsies, looks like this one didn't work. Come on, like that. And when, it, when that one's there, you put this one here and you can go slowly slowly or else the ball will go off the platform and it will not go here and land on the platform so it could start all over again so slowly oops that ball went to the same place um anyway let's put there now you can start okay two balls are, oh you went there by well thank you up and up round stuck but that will since the ball has been rolling off the platform, using the rest of the stickers, and because this is kind of higher, the ball gets caught, and some of them roll off. So using re the remaining stickers, maybe I can make a guardrail, a high platform, so that the balls try not to roll off. Maybe I could just stack them like blocks. That would be the best one, and it's easiest. One there. There, this way the ball won't roll off. And because of the force, it will hit that, and it will go this way, and it will go back on the platform. That's the plan anyway, that is. And try to block this area too. You know, for extra protection. Now, let's try. It's on the third rail, one. It's there, that's on the third rail, go. Come on. Now that's the problem. It doesn't go out, but it gets stuck on this part. And let's see what will happen. Oh, come on. So because the, this ball is blocking it, it's going. You could make a ramp so it goes fall down, but I think I'm gonna make a block. I'm gonna block that area. Maybe one sticker here. Let's try it. I'm not sure whether it will work though. One. It works. Go. On the third rail, it hits. That's the problem. So I need more higher stickers so the ball doesn't go to this area. Maybe if I block this area, it won't go. Like this whole row. So this rectangle area, it the balls won't go. This way. I have two stickers remaining. And let's try it. Go. That's on the third. Come on, up. It works. And go on the third rail. Okay. Some of the balls might go through. But now I'm gonna think of it, these stickers are useless. If I block this area like this, it can pro it might work because after all you don't need to waste stickers uh, and a few more stickers there now let's try uh babies in the hallway some of them might go over the boundaries hmm i think i'm ready to try it out now come on up Now 
then, no matter how far I go, the balls will stay in line. Because of the high boundaries I made, the balls will stay together. So if I go faster, I might bonk into it, but... And the cool thing is how they look on the side. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and press the like button and meet me at this brown tip. See you again in my other videos. Bye!